hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word will get light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Arise from these ashes. It's time for you to fly like the eagle that you are. Micah 2 10. Give it to us, please. Ah. Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. This is a prophetic word for someone. It just came to my spirit now. Read it from the depth of your heart. Are you ready? One to read. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. If you remain at that level, it will destroy you. Arise, it is not your rest. This is not your place. You are an eagle. Stop dwelling around with chickens. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray this scripture in one minute. Lord, I arise, I arise. It's time to arise. This is not my rest. I arise, I depart from this level. I arise in the name of Jesus. Spiritually, I arise. Financially, I arise. As touching the greatness that you have placed upon my spirit, I arise. Someone pray, this is not my rest. This is not my rest. I refuse to settle for less. Man of God, pray. Thank God for what God has done. So find your ministry, but this is not your rest. Evangelist, pray. This is not your rest. Prophet, pray. Politician, pray. This is not your rest. Professional, pray. This is not your rest. Please pray. This is a miracle service. You have prayed yourself to a new level. This is not my rest. In business, this is not my rest. As touching the call of God. What I saw in my vision is yet to happen physically. I will give him no rest because this is not my rest. Financially, this is not your rest. Listen, listen, look up everybody. What does it take to live where you are to the next level? On the part of God, power, on your part, anger and hunger, two things. Anger and hunger are required ingredients to break through your current season. If you are not angry enough, you will remain there giving excuses and if you are not hungry enough you cannot be filled man of god you will remain at that level of the anointing praying for 100 people and having only one person getting healed it won't work that way the nations won't place a demand upon you that way that is the honest truth professional uh -uh. not at that level Someone is going to pray 
father i am tired of this level i am both angry at this level thank you for this level but lord i know that i am overdue when a baby stays more than nine months in his mother's womb he calls for concern when a baby stays in his mother's womb if it is before nine months that's fine the baby has to be patient but above nine months doctors will tell us there is a problem lift your voice and pray bring a performance of god at another level bring a performance in ministry bring a performance in family bring a performance in my finances bring a performance in my destiny empowerment from heaven the grace that turns dreams to their reality outside are you praying inside are you praying hallelujah hallelujah please listen when god answers your prayer how does he answer it by giving you power god answers prayer by sending power the power that turns that desire to its reality now listen i'm going to pray on your prayer request but before i start ministry you are going to pray on it by yourself and declare that lord in this season this and that and that make your request known as you pray please do not keep quiet and don't say god cannot do it oh don't entertain unbelief you don't have to lift it up even if it's written somewhere you just begin to pray mention everything by name Father, it is within your power to make great. It is within your power to prosper. It is within your power to lift. Someone pray. Hallelujah. The proof of favor is not money. Money is the least thing you can be given as a result of favor. The proof of favor is when God connects you to the hearts of men that you call on one man and a nation is ready to respond to you and even to attend to your needs i don't know who that person is but i'm stretching my hands towards you that grace i lay my hands on my own head and i pray by the privilege of the election of grace may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you rest upon you rest upon you this grace called favor let it rest upon you let it rest upon you in the city in the country let it rest upon you in the name of jesus christ that you become a living evidence of what god can do with men in the name of jesus christ and by this impartation of favor 
I call forth whoever has been mandated by God to participate in your rising. Whether you know them or not, I declare this week by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may they show up in your life. May they show up in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Final prayer. Whatever has refused to move forward, you have moved it by your energy, you have moved it intellectually, you have outsourced men to move it, but it has refused to move. I stand by the, the, the advantage of the prophetic. I move you forward. I move you forward. Make constructive progress in the name of Jesus Christ. Adore the door, adore the way, adore the truth. always a change of season hallelujah every time the sound of the trumpet signifies the end of a season and the beginning of another when you hear the sound of the trumpet you become the prophet of your destiny and begin to lead yourself into a triumphant entry in the name of Jesus whatever prophetic action you find comfortable some of you may need to walk forward some of you may need to lift your hands in joy but by all means as you hear the sound of the trumpet begin to declare seasons of pain you have come to an end seasons of shame you have come to an end seasons of embarrassment in the name of jesus you believe this go ahead <laughs> Oh, I decree and declare seasons of shame. You come to an end in the name of Jesus. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I go forward. 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 I advance into new realms, into new seasons. Things God, prophesy upon yourself. Can do a triumphant entry out of shame, out of obscurity. <laughs> Hallelujah. The last Shadakosa. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter. And they said among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for them. It says the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the naked. Take one minute, you are not wasting your time. You are leading in the spirit. A triumphant entry, 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 a triumphant entry. 
Adonai, 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 Hallelujah. Exodus 14, 14. Please give it to us. Exodus 14, 14. My God. Hear me. There is a name that God is called. He is not only Savior. He is not only Deliverer. He is called a mighty warrior. Do you know what that name means? The Bible says, who is this King of Glory? It says, the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty. And that might is only demonstrated in battle. Hallelujah. That the Lord can stand behind a man as a mighty terrible one the lord can stand behind the destiny defending it with his jealousy did the bible not say jealousy is the rage of a man when you touch the bride of a man you provoke jealousy and the bible calls you the bride of christ this will be your next prayer point ladies and gentlemen i don't know about you but the lord will fight for joshua selman and I will hold my peace. Ah, there are battles that are not your own. The Lord will fight for you. Say, Father, arise. Father, arise. Establish victory in my life. Go ahead and pray. Arise. Arise. Yeah. Yeah. those under the anointing it may not make sense to an ordinary person but i tell you you are commanding results in the spirit you will just see that your days unfold with miracles scheduled before you these are the mysteries of the kingdom the bible calls it the hidden wisdom of god ordained for our glory for someone who has the heart to believe you stand and watch the way seasons move like wind shifting things and changing seasons for you in the name of jesus everything that represents shame reproach in your life i call upon the god of heaven the one who backs and honors men may that season come to an end now may that season come to an end now may that season come to an end now Listen, for everyone here, they have asked you, where is your God? May your results answer them. I say it again, may your results answer them. In the name of Jesus Christ. You have turned my morning into dancing and you have turned my sorrow to joy. Let me pray for someone from that prison place. In the name of Jesus, let an earthquake rattle that prison and cause all doors to be open. Financial doors open. Marital doors open. Doors of fruitfulness be open. Doors of lifting be open. Career doors be open. 
in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Bible tells us that there was a man in the in scripture called Mordecai they wanted to kill the king one time and Mordecai heard the news and by his intervention the king's life was preserved but the man was not rewarded there are many of you who have been part of the rising of many the stories of many you midwife them into prophetic seasons yet like like joseph they forgot you my bible says that night could not king ahasuerus sleep he said bring me the chronicles and they opened it and found there where mordecai saved his life but was not rewarded let me prophesy to someone in the name of jesus the son of the living god for your sake may the book of remembrance be open 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 in the name of jesus christ are you ready for a prophetic action exodus 14 15 i want to preach and speak according to the word that the lord gave moses and the lord said to joshua selman wherefore criest thou to me speak to the people at the king's court and tell them that they go forward can i prophesy to you go forward go forward go forward go forward i prophesied in business go forward no more backward go forward go forward by the anointing go forward i prophesy go forward go forward go forward speed to your destiny speed to your destiny speed to your destiny go forward as a businessman go forward as a man of god go forward as a student go forward as an administrator go forward in the name of jesus go forward go forward and every power that stands your way let me prophesy to it who are down mountain before the rubber who are down mountain before the king's court at the shout of grace 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 someone say grace say grace say grace say grace say grace in the name of jesus christ Your sacrifice this morning is a worthy bargain. I assure you, you will have a reason to rejoice. I say it again. Who are down mountain? Before this family, the mountain of cancer, the mountain of joblessness, the mountain of barrenness. I call upon the God of Jeshurun, the one who rides upon the wings of the wind. In the name of Jesus, may that mountain be lifted 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 help those under the anointing may that mountain be lifted may that mountain be lifted i say it may that mountain be lifted now let me prophesy by this time tomorrow i call upon the god of my covenant that in the name of jesus the one who died and rose again may my god wipe your tears may my god give you a testimony in the name of jesus christ be glorified Hallelujah, be glorified. 
Please return to your seat. Please listen to me for someone here perhaps you are a victim of your background you have struggled you have suffered you've done everything you know how to do when the axe head sank they said alas master it was borrowed and the prophet came and said where fell it i want to locate something that has been missing in your life now where fell it where did the opportunity fall into Parako where did your influence fall into perhaps when you were careless it fell I ah, there is hope for a tree at the scent of water please please don't be distracted believe me we're not wasting your time he went to the prophet and say where fell it for someone where did your investment fall into That today you have been called Ichabod. People look at you and say, what happened? But the Lord can change a man's name from Ichabod to Beulah and Hephzibah. The delight, a well-watered garden in the name of Jesus. Wherever that axe head has fallen. I hope you know it was with the axe head that they used to cut the wood. To establish themselves. The basis of that story was that they told the prophet, where we meet with you is too small. It was a desire to go forward. It was a desire to expand. It was a desire to be established. And then in that process, the axe head fell. And the guy said, it was borrowed. I'm in two troubles now. I can't build and I must repay. Hallelujah. And the prophet said, not to worry. There are infinite possibilities in the kingdom. Just show me where it fell. And the Bible says he took a stick. You know what a stick is? It is another word for an earthen vessel. That the excellency of power may be of God. A strategy that does not make sense. And he threw it there. And the Bible says the axe head. I decree and declare over your life. Everything you have lost. It doesn't matter how it left you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I call it back to your life. I call it back to your life. I call it back to your destiny, back to your family. I call back relationships. I call back resources. I call back opportunities in the name of Jesus. Influences all over me. I am under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. Yeah. Here's the part of the song I like. I am victorious, I have overcome, I am victorious, Ali, Ali, oh, Ali, oh, Ali, oh, Ali, Ali, oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. 
what is the key to church growth don't argue it results are exact in the spirit go and find out what has God placed upon his servant the secrets of men are contained in their words you know God by knowing his word so you know men by studying their words their speakings are a revelation of their mindset their understanding you may not have the liberty for close proximity but you can draw close to their minds using the vista of their words. Settle down. Find the area in your life that is not working and invest in light. Back it up with prayer. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2 and verse 42, it says, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and in fellowship and in the breaking of bread and in prayer. Acts chapter 4 and verse 33, and now we pray and I wrap up. The Bible says, and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection and great grace was upon how many? That means all of us can carry great grace. Great power comes with great grace. Great grace comes with great knowledge. Great grace was upon them all. Listen, the quality of your witness in this end time depends on the level of unction and enabling grace that you carry, which is a product of the time you have invested in the study of the word. High level spiritual illumination, intense moments of prayer, and fellowship with the spirit nothing else will replace these keys whether you want to be an extraordinary ceo an exceptional man of god you want to become an exceptional father mother leader the formula is the same you cannot ignore the word of god ignore the ministry of prayer and fellowship with the spirit one communication of the spirit in the place of fellowship can equal the next 20 years of relevance in your life. Listen, we have gotten to times in the church age where depending on the intellect alone or over dependence, I would say, on the intellect will prove to be costly in the days that come. Because let me tell you the truth. There are trajectories we are about to tour that no man can claim to have had the experience. Not within this dispensation. You would have to be three, four hundred years old to tell us I've seen this before. Everybody who saw that cyclical move has gone. So we are infants relative to the moves coming. You need to depend on the ancient of days. There is a fountain of wisdom you must tap in the place of fellowship. Only God will tell you what the next ten years of ministry will be. Reverend Sam spoke about my teaching so graciously and I'm so grateful for that. But let me tell you, as at the time God instructed me to start putting teachings online, internet was just in its infancy within the African soil. And the Lord spoke to me, we, if, I think Facebook just started or so, and he told me, he said, put these teachings. Quality of production, very poor, was not, I mean, sometimes you would have to stretch to listen to some of the audios. And he said, put it online and my angel will take it to the ends of the earth. Have you had God for 2023 20, till 2033? Has he spoken to you? Don't assume it to be business as usual. COVID has taught us the, the, the excellency of staying with the spirit to navigate the ever-changing world that we live in. Billionaires fell to nothing within one year because of over-dependence on the flesh. It's important for you to pray, obtain grace to stay with the word until light comes. Isaiah 61 and 2 amplified says, Arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. Shine for your light is come. You don't arise and shine because you are tired of sitting. You arise and shine because your light is come, not because your light is around. It's been around since 2015 for someone, but it has not come to you. May this be the year that it comes. Are you ready to pray? I obtain grace. Someone pray. Open up your mouth and pray. 
grace to contend for superior light. The Bible says that he made many lights, but there were two great lights, one to rule the day and the other to rule the night. And then he made the stars also. Go ahead and pray. The light that empowers me to rule the day, the light that empowers me to rule the night, I obtain, I obtain by diligent study. I, Daniel, understood by books. I, Daniel, understood by books. Someone pray. I obtain grace to be a student of scripture. I obtain grace to be disciplined towards my press for light. Definite light. Marvelous light. Light that illuminates every darkness in my life. I obtain grace to invest in prayer. Someone is praying. I obtain grace to invest in prayer. But we will give ourselves continually. Acts chapter 6 and verse 4. We will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The nations are calling for the mantle God has put upon your life. Man of God, the nations are calling for the grace he has put upon you. Oh Esther, oh Ruth. Oh Deborah, oh Elijah, the nations are calling. Hallelujah. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark. In my life, you are proving over every darkness. You are closing and touch time one time upon your life. You are proving over every darkness. You are closing and touch time from God. Now, spare me a minute. I want you to pray. Every grace you have seen at work in the life of your man of God, I stand in faith with you. I want you to place a demand upon it right now. By reason of being grafted to this spiritual tribe, him and his wife, the grace, the years of sacrifice in the spirit, I'm releasing my faith with you. Pray, what have you seen work in his life? What have you seen God do in this church? Is someone praying? Don't let pride keep you in that position. What have you seen God do in his life? Father, you have lifted him. Let that grace come upon me. Are you praying? That the Lord who took him from the city of Azarae in Bauchi, and lifted him to become a voice across the nations. Lord, you can lift me right where I am. From where thou art. He says, lift up your eyes. Someone is placing a demand. And all of you who are connected to his prayer platform, there is a chance to pray all across the globe. Placing a demand upon the grace that God has put on his life. Father, I obtain the grace for vibrancy in prayer. I obtain the grace to understand the capacity to understand scripture. Grace for fellowship with the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. 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 There is the abundance of grace that a man can have. I stretch my hands now. 
something is going to fall right now just in one minute I come as one sent in the name of the Lord I want you to receive this with all your heart you will be surprised what will happen to you in the name of Jesus father you have sent me here not only to preach but to impart I stretch my hands right now let that fire that grace oh speak from your heavens and the earth will sing oh speak from the heavens now he from the earth oh speak from the heavens and the earth will hear my altar is calling you oh god my sacrifice is calling you oh god let the grace for visibility the grace that can cause a territory that hear ye him anointing in the name of Jesus, I impart that grace upon you now. Receive that patatos ketepata. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Visibility in ministry. Visibility in your family. From where you are, rise and let the nation see Jesus from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Every delay in your life, whatever has tied you in the same position, there are two systems of advantage that are given by God to men to redeem time. Number one is restoration. Number two is speed. I call upon these twofold graces. May they rest upon your life now. Receive restoration. Receive speed. Receive restoration. Receive speed. Receive restoration. Receive speed. Hallelujah. Your pastor is a blessed man. God has shown him mercy. I want to stand in faith with him and speak. Can I tell you the truth? Believe me when I tell you, if you are not empowered economically, you will never be able to be an effective witness. The name of Jesus is very heavy. It takes resources to lift it up. If you will lift it with integrity. Did you hear what I said? The name of Jesus is very heavy. It takes resources to lift it high enough for the nations to see. God who has helped this precious man and his wife. I'm standing in faith. Listen, if you believe in this prayer, I'm praying for you. Many of you have been in this city, a land of plenty, but the two lip gates has been closed over your hands. I pray for you by the grace that helps men even financially. Between now and the next three months, I stand by the grace and the oil of this call. I declare, may my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. May my God surprise you. Access to favor. Uncommon kindness. Uncommon access. Uncommon acceptance. Hallelujah. Many of you hear me. You are in this church, but you are not genuinely connected to the anointing genuinely connected jesus said all that you have given me i have kept we only keep what we are given that stays as though it says except the son of perdition he had to explain why judas let me tell you spiritual fatherhood is a responsibility you account for those god gave you and there are many of you that are sincerely genuinely not connected you connect through honor you connect through giving you connect through your prayer. You connect by supporting what it is, the dimension of God committed to the man that God has given you. Are we together? Another measure. Another measure. Another measure. Upon your life. Upon your ministry. in the name of Jesus I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus listen another one
rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Another one thousand. Another one thousand. In the name of Jesus, what you have never seen in scripture, I open your eyes to begin to see it. I open the eyes of your understanding, unusual insights into scripture. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are many of you at this point in your Christian experience. You are in desperate need of the revelatory gifts of the spirit to be activated the word of knowledge the word of wisdom the gift of prophecy i decree and declare anyone here who is desperate for these gifts of the spirit and it has not rested upon you or it has rested upon you at a level that can no longer host the burden and the responsibilities upon you i stretch my hands receive a fresh impartation now a fresh impartation now a fresh impartation now ah trouble you have entered because of spiritual blindness every mistake you have made some of you are in financial troubles now because of the bankruptcy of sight some of you may be in marital crisis right now some of you may be in ministerial troubles right now in the name of Jesus I invoke the mercy of God come out of that situation now Come out of that situation now. There is something your eyes need to see. I want to pray for you. Can I tell you this? Listen, your wealth is not everywhere. Don't make a mistake of just copying and joining the bandwagon. You will get into trouble until you deplete yourself. Just because it's working for others does not mean it will work for you. You have to see what the Lord is saying concerning you. I'm about to pray for you. Some of you will see it in dreams. Some of you will see it in visions. Some of you will have prophetic confirmations. But I stand by prophecy. Wherever your financial resources will come from, I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody here who is a leader or you are in ministry, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you. The eyes to see beyond just a 2020 vision, let it be imparted upon you. I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart. May nothing take you unawares again. I say it again. May nothing take you unawares. That before it happens, by the power of sight, may you see it. 
so that if you have to stop it you stop it from happening and if you have to allow it then you allow it happen hear me by the gift of sight you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you let me repeat it again you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead please hear me any door standing in front of you that has refused to open I call upon the God of my covenant between now and December 31st please hear me in the name of Jesus that grace is coming on someone the grace for open doors take that grace now the grace for apacotes katepata the grace for open doors receive that grace right now I speak to every closed door a fata be open a fata be open I come in the name of he who holds the key of David. He says, I can open a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open. I say to you again, I don't care how long that door has been locked. In the name of Jesus, we break that door open now. We break that door open now. We break the Pakos Katebata. We break that door open now. hear me there is a strange grace for visibility that is coming on people hear me do you know what it means to be visible to be visible means to be acknowledged by the optical eyes you can be there and yet not be visible visibility is the key for being living a rewarded life until people know you are there they cannot place a demand on your gifting and grace help them please i don't know what has covered your glory but in the name of jesus may that grace for visibility rest on you now let it rest on you now hear me please help them when baby jesus was born no physical man announced and said a baby is born there was a grace on him that made the magi they left their distance and carried gifts gold frankincense and myrrh and they came to pay homage to a baby those guys were wise men why will they pay homage to a baby so don't tell me i'm small they paid homage to a baby i say it again whatever has covered your glory so that those who honor you cannot find you i lift you by prophecy rise to a position of visibility rise to a position of visibility Now hear me, I have taught you here that all blessings come from God through men to men. All blessings come from God through men to men. 
all troubles come from Satan through men to men. In any case, men are always the midwives of destiny, whether it is from God or from Satan. Hallelujah. There are many of you, God said yes since January, but the man who will say yes on earth has not been available. And there are forces that have pushed them away. Let me prophesy for your destiny helpers. Because you see, let me tell you, you are as powerful as those who support what you represent. The Bible says in the multitude of men is a king's honor, not in the multitude of your gift. Every man ordained by God to respond to you favorably this year. And for whatever reason, maybe by demonic intrusion, their attention has been taken away from you. I speak to the north, the south, and the east, and the west. I command your helpers to gravitate towards you. I command your helpers to gravitate towards you. Gravitate towards you. Hallelujah. One of the mysterious spiritual currencies that buys a life of dignity and honor, including wealth, is this grace called favor. Favor is a grace. Look up, please. The understanding that favor is unmerited is not accurate. Favor is very merited. Favor is multidimensional. The dimension of favor that is not merited is the grace that administers salvation. But favor is merited. Proverbs 13, 15. It says, good understanding procured favor. Please give it to us. Good understanding giveth favor. But the way of the transgressor, the violator of patterns is hard. How do you know favor is on your life? The real proof of favor is access to the heart of men. You know you are favored. To the degree to which there are men to answer and attend to the matters of your life favor carries a tripartite expression please listen favor genuine bible favor carries a tripartite expression number one unusual kindness number two unusual acceptance number three unusual access until this tripartite expression is captured in your life it is not favor and i've told you if it happens only once it's not favor it's breakthrough but not favor favor must happen repeatedly regardless the circumstances exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor pay attention please in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go help me please ye shall not go empty Psalm 44 and verse 3 for those who have been trusting God for structural establishment here is the secret they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but your right hand and thine arm it says and the light of thy countenance because thou hast a favor towards them Esther 2 15 the B part the little village girl Hadassah who was brought from Shushan the Bible says and Esther obtained favor in the eyes of how many all when favor comes on you the only person who cannot bless you is a blind man provided they have eyes to see all them that looked upon her verse 17 not even the king was spared and the king loved Esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins I know what favor is believe me with all humility I can tell you I may not know everything about it but there is something I know about the favor of God as we have received by grace in the name of Jesus upon someone right now someone who is tired from the depth of my heart I pray for you as we have received freely may this grace called favor rest upon you now may this grace called favor rest upon you now may this grace called favor rest upon you now 
I speak to you, obtain unusual kindness from men, unusual acceptance with men, unusual access to the hearts and the resources of men. The favor of God is the number one reason people succeed. I have taught you again and again that in this kingdom, who hates you does not matter. But who likes you matters. There are people who you cannot cast away. The Bible says when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. There are some enemies you can't cast away. You have to pray for a rite of passage into their heart. Otherwise, that door will not be open. They are called gatekeepers. The covenant that binds them is beyond their attitude. Even in their fallen state, the throne of God still acknowledges them. You won't pray them away. You will pray for favor. For instance, there was no way to, bound, to bind and cast Pharaoh. If David was waiting, if, if Joseph was waiting to bind and cast Pharaoh to be prime minister, he would have waited forever. When God wants to lift Joseph, he will make Pharaoh have a dream that only Joseph can interpret and give him access to the palace. The wine presser said, I remember my wrong this day. There was a young man who has been locked up. My carelessness has added two years extra to his life. And they said, go and bring him. And the Bible says the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon, not God. There are men who can send for you and bring you out of certain realms. It was the king that sent for Joseph, never to return to the prison again. Whoever needs to send for you, in the name of Jesus, may the voice of favor call them. May the voice of favor call them. May the voice of favor call them. Whoever must send for your family in this period, whoever must send for your ministry, whoever must send for your value, may favor compel them to call you. Hallelujah. Let me tell you the truth. This world is a very selfish world. It takes the favor of God for people to turn their hearts and their minds and their eyes away from the nuances and distractions and to focus on your destiny to lift you. This world is not that kind. I can tell you, people are very selfish. They are about and justifiably so. Everybody is focused on building their destiny. Whatever will make someone suspend attention over his destiny and invest his attention, his credibility, his resources on you must not be natural. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel has come to you, his Israel. Rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel, he has come to you, his Israel. Therefore, I declare over you, from across the seven continents of the earth, anyone who has been mandated to reach you for your rising, whatever barrier is stopping them from reaching you, I take it out of the way now. I take it out of the way now. Number three, by the power of the Holy Spirit, the riches and the blessings that are connected to every territory, in this case Abuja here, or whatever territory you are coming from, I declare, the Bible says the increase of the earth is for all, that even the king is fed by the increase of the field. Your portion in this land, or wherever you are represented, I command it to locate you. I command it to gravitate towards you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your family. 
if it is well with you and it is not well with your family then it is not well with you i pray for you all your siblings your parents your loved ones all who are connected to you by natural descent by blood and by responsibility none of them will go down none of them will go down none of them will fall by the wayside in the name of jesus christ Hear me, Koinonia, let a mark and a mantle of honor, let it rest upon your head. Let it rest upon your head. Let it rest upon your destiny. Everyone who is in ministry here, and it looks like ministry is barren, unfruitful, you love God, you are serving him with integrity of heart, but there are no results that follow your loving and serving Jesus. In the name of Jesus, begin to command unusual results begin to command unusual results I separate you from the company of wicked and unreasonable people in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak over your life that anyone who fights you goes down instantly in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for our children. We prayed for our children already, but we're praying for our children. Koinonia children will be known for excellence. Koinonia children will be known for diligence. They will love the Lord and they will be outstanding. I pray for every professional here. Anyone here who is in the career path, especially a professional, in the name of Jesus, I forbid you from remaining at the same position. Business people, hear me. I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the grace that helps men prosper. Everyone in business here, I place an anointing upon you. Go and prosper. 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 Anyone here in need of a job, I declare may your supernatural job locate you. Shame and reproach is finally terminated from your life. Now, let me speak over your spiritual life. This is a major prayer point. I've spoken about the things that pertain to life. Let me now speak about the things that pertain to godliness. Because this is very important. Anything eating up your prayer life. So that your passion and your zeal for fellowship and prayer has gone down or you are not interested in spiritual things again receive the fire of revival now whatever spirit ties you and does not allow you to stand up to take your place like a priest and pray against demonic things i decree and declare right now let fresh fire come upon your altar Number two, your word study life. Please hear me. You cannot afford to live in ignorance. The secret of dominion is access to light. To the soles of your feet, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Blood conditions, be healed in the name of Jesus. Migraine headaches, be healed in the name of Jesus. Bone conditions, be healed in the name of Jesus. Cancer, be healed in the name of Jesus. Fibroids, be healed in the name of Jesus. Lumbar spondylosis, be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart conditions, be corrected in the name of Jesus. Eye conditions, be healed in Jesus' name. Ear conditions, be healed in Jesus name it doesn't matter what the sickness is it doesn't matter what the infirmity is in the name of my God who is also your God be healed this moment anyone holding a medical report that represents a death sentence because of this convention find rest in your health find rest in your health I prophesy over you you will not die you will not die. I 
close the grave, the gate of the grave on your behalf. You will not die. Be healed in Jesus name. Be healed in Jesus name. Be healed in Jesus name. Now I decree and declare over your finances. The spirit of the waster. The spirit of poverty, lack and want. That only keeps you begging and borrowing. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I cause that spirit right now. I cause that spirit right now. I pray over your family. Everything that wants to destroy your integrity. Destroy your children. Destroy your spouse. I command it to give way right now. I command it to give way right now. In the name of Jesus. For anyone here trusting God for a job. I prophesy to you. Between now and the end of 2023. May my God visit you. May my God surprise you. May he, may he make a way for you where there is no way. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Any business that is in debt. Anyone who is in debt. Financial crisis. Personally or corporately. I call upon the God of Jeshurun. In the name of Jesus. May God arise and use men to wipe your tears. May God arise and use men to take you out of shame. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Everyone who has what it takes to help you. I call them helpers of destiny. Wherever they are. I prophesy to the north, the south, the east and the west. I gravitate your helpers towards you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, And the king sent for Joseph, and they brought him out of his dungeon. Whoever must send for you, to bring you out of shame, to bring you out of calamity and misery, may my God put it in their hands to honor you. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty I prophesy to you that the, the days of emptiness has come to an end now by the favor of God in the name of Jesus Christ hear me believers when men say there is a casting down I prophesy to you, let it be for you that there is a lifting up. A thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right side. None shall hurt you. With your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked. In the name of Jesus Christ. For someone here under the sound of my voice, quarter to shame, may God raise help for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And if there is anyone here, the spirit of death is roaming around your life, roaming around your family, to see that you don't survive and reach the end of this year. That people will say, this man was in this convention, but he did not enter 2024. I stand in the name of Jesus, and I decree and declare, you will live long. You will live long. I say it again, you will live long. You have no covenant with death. You have no covenant with the waster. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I pray for you. Whatever will bring your spiritual life down. The Bible says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor sit in the seats of the scornful. It says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law doth he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yields fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Then he says, whatsoever he doeth prospers. I pray for you, any destructive relationship that the devil has brought around you to destroy your passion for God, to confuse you and make spirituality look like a waste. I separate you from those relationships forever. Receive help from the Lord. Receive mercy from the Lord. For someone by this time next year, you return back 10 times better. You return back 10 times better. 10 times 
wiser, ten times more prosperous, ten times healthier. In the name of Jesus. And in case I did not mention your desire, I release my faith with you. Standing upon the grace of our Father and every man of God in this place, we agree under the corporate anointing that every desire that brought you for this convention, you will never go back with it disappointed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 112 says, Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth you will not give birth to weak children you will not give birth to children who will kill you in the name of jesus he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever i hope you believe in the blessing of the lord i pray for you you will not beg again i say from the depth of my heart you will not beg again that mark of shame that is on your head that is called Ichabod. Everyone has said, what is wrong with you? Where is the evidence of your serving God? From today, may your results answer your enemies. Yeshua HaMashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua HaMashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua HaMashiach Lord is saying, I am looking for someone here who is prepared to be a sacrifice. I want to use you as, as a spectacular display of my glory. But there are still things you are withholding. There are still things you are withholding. And the Lord wants you to cry in the next one minute. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but hear me, I'm speaking by the Spirit of God. There are many of you, there are relationships you love more than God. There are business deals you love more than God. No. This realm of sacrifice, there are few people who have gotten there. There are pastors, maybe listening to me. The secret is not just your prayer. The secret is not just your fasting. You have prayed, Jesus prayed. You have fasted, Jesus fasted. You studied the word. But when your all becomes poured like a drink offering, you have approached him, a realm in the spirit where you will see the hand of God. I want to give you the next one minute. I apologize for stretching the time. Whether you want to lie down, whether you want to cry, you are going to say, Lord, this is me, all of me. I surrender everything. Everything. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you, mean it with God. I'm withholding nothing. I surrender all to you. Everything I give. Don't be ashamed of your tears. It is the hand of God you desire. Listen to what you're saying. I'm withholding nothing. Sing it. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. With all the with all the Will you give yourself away? That's a question that God is asking you tonight. 
Will you give yourself away so he can use you? You answer now. I give myself away. I give myself away. So he Was still pray just take a minute you are not wasting your time father every idol and everything that has stopped your hand from resting resting upon my life resting upon my finances ah your, your arms are not too short that you cannot bring deliverance you have seen it from scripture that the hand of god can create the hand of god can sustain the hand of god can judge the wicked the hand of god can bring deliverance it can bring redemption the hand of god can lift man and it was surely get ready. Hear me, man of God. The secret to being in ministry is to forget about ministry and focus on Him, loving Him, giving your all, pouring your all. Then you will find ministry. Businessman, some can trust in horses and chariots, but when God's hand decides to bring you a thing, it preserves, it keeps. For someone here, you have tried and tried and tried. God brought you to the Oasis Conference because he's saying, stop. This, this up and down does not give God glory. Waking up in the morning and sleeping late in the night, hustling through life, only to eat the bread of sorrow. Help those under the anointing. Please help that lady so she doesn't enjoy herself. When the glory comes, There'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, oh, oh. Sing it one more time, then I make it call. calling you you've trusted in things of lesser value but he's showing you the path to the hand of God the hand of God is not just the name of a conference it's an experience that you can have and carry it can become your habitation your reality but only if your heart is stayed on revealing Jesus seeing that his will is birthed perpetually through your life that you walk in obedience that you live a life of worship huh. Paul and Silas they prayed but when they sang the Bible tells us that his mighty power came descended upon that prison room and all doors opened hallelujah Pair yourselves into three if you can. We are going to spend the remaining just three, three. There's nobody there. Just make it two or whatever. But please, we are going to pray. Help them under the anointing. We are going to pray. Just two, three minutes. You are going to begin to pray in the spirit. Find any hand you find there and begin to pray and make declarations over the person's hand you are holding in the name of Jesus. I declare I come as a prophetic rainmaker. Come on, Koinonia. 
following from your home. Hold the hands of your children if you can. Hold the hand of your wife, your husband. Hold the hand of your neighbor, whoever you find. Touch and agree by faith. I am a prophetic rainmaker. I program the spiritual climate of my brother and my sister. No more losses. No more failure. In the name of Jesus. Superior wisdom. Superior favor. Higher levels of power. Higher levels of grace. Strange breakthroughs by the Spirit. Pray. The anointing that is within me is finding expression in the name of Jesus. Man of God, pray and declare. It's a new season in ministry. It's a new season of exploits and impact for Jesus by the Spirit. The hand of God is upon me. Therefore, I speak in Psalms. I speak in hymns. I speak in spiritual songs, making melody in my heart even unto God. No failure in the name of Jesus. My path is as a shining light, shining ever brighter, even unto the perfect day. The Lord is my light and salvation. In the name of Jesus, I rise by revelation. The mighty hand of God is upon me. When men say there is a casting down, I declare by the Spirit that there is a lifting up. In the name of Jesus, the God of Joshua is arising for me by the power of the Holy Spirit. I am blessed in the city, blessed in the country. Koinonia is blessed, revealing Jesus, bringing him glory across the nations of the earth. declare pray over your brother I rebuke the plan of the devil over his life over her life in the name of Jesus perfect health perfect soundness you will not die before your time in the name of Jesus your relevance will not be cut short the spirit of the waster is far from you of nations the gates of territories are opening by the spirit in the name of Jesus the sick are healed oppressed delivered the confused find direction sinners come to Jesus pray for Nigeria declare over Nigeria Nigeria will not fall Nigeria will not be destroyed for the sake of the elect of God. No matter the schemings of darkness, the purposes of God over this nation, over Africa, and you who is watching by, or by television, pray for your nation. Mention the name of your nation. South Africa, Kenya, Ghana, Rwanda, Uganda, Central African Republic, Cameroon, declared by the Spirit, Cote d'Ivoire, Africa is engulfed with the fire of revival. Europe, America, Australia, Asia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. This is how kings reign. This is how kings rule. This is how kings rise. For by your words you are condemned. 
and by your words you are justified hallelujah i want to speak over your life no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no one you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me one more time no shadow you will light up no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up in the name of Jesus Christ I stand as a prophetic rainmaker over someone's life that drought in your life in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. For someone here, I prophesy to you, you will not see wind. You will not see rain even. But I declare by all means, may your valley be filled. May your valley be filled. Hear me. According to the law of time and chance, for some of you, certain things have gotten to your tongue, but demon spirits made it jump over you. I stand by the prophetic. I take it back to your tongue. I take a I take it back to your tongue. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. If there is any negative programming that came either by mistake or by ignorance you didn't know and you kept speaking things now that the devil is using for some of you based on what you have said you are not even more than two years left to live because you kept cutting your years with your words I stand by the power of the prophetic and in the name of Jesus I cancel every word speaking against you to every word speaking against you for the Bible says no weapon formed against you will prosper and he said every tongue that arises please hear me no matter who has said what against you maybe growing up maybe his parents sincere people but what they have said is being used by the devil it has become a, a negative rain making process by the power of the prophetic I cancel it now where they said you will fall I prophesy stand where they said you will not rise I speak fly not only rise in the name of Jesus where they say you will not find helpers, you will even have to choose who to help you. Where it has been programmed that you will lose your spiritual fire, you will lose your relevance, you will lose your bishopric, you will lose your lampstand. I prophesy 30 years from now, if Christ tarries, you will still be standing. final prophetic word anyone under the sound of my voice that this statement Ichabod has been roaming around your head that means you are good for nothing that means the glory has departed that means everybody who sees you they should treat you like an outcast in the name of Jesus I roll away that negative word
I say it again for someone who has been trusting God for rain your plans have refused to grow prophetically because the rain has refused to come I stand tonight as a prophetic rainmaker and I say it again by the power of words because by these words the cloud is full of rain may your rain begin the righteous once you find out that you are the righteous give God praise because I can assure you that sooner or later anybody who laughed at you will have to bury his head in shame forever you're going to pray one prayer that in the name of Jesus every discouragement every mountain that stands before me I announce to you that I am the righteous and therefore I am coming out of it open your mouth and begin to pray following online pray Azaria family make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus someone is speaking as a man of God a businessman career person politician parent whatever the situation is it says let the weak say so the weak can say the weak may not be able to do the weak may not be able to rise but the weak can say and the moment you can say all other things will begin to fall in line someone open your mouth and pray speak over your health speak over the failing business speak over the marital issue speak over the ministry issue speak over the job challenge many are the afflictions of the righteous many are the afflictions of the righteous someone is praying many are the afflictions someone pray in the hospital you are in the hospital but make sure you are praying you've lost a loved one but make sure you are praying you may be crying listening to me but make sure you are praying you may be discouraged, offended with God, but make sure you are praying. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Nigeria, Africa, I know things may not be as we want for now because of all the economic issues there, but many are the afflictions of the righteous. I dare to say Nigeria is a righteous nation. Therefore, the Lord will deliver him from them all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says the righteous man falls seven times, but he leaves them with an assurance that he will rise. That the righteous preacher can be afflicted. The righteous mother can be afflicted. The righteous family can be afflicted. The righteous business can be afflicted. The righteous laborer can be afflicted. The righteous prophet, the righteous apostle, the righteous teacher, the righteous pastor, the righteous evangelist. You find out you're a man of God and it looks like there's some sickness in your body. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Don't join all this hypocrisy and all of that. You pray, get people to pray. You need to go to the hospital, go to the hospital and treat yourself with nobility. It does not make you less anointed. Take responsibility over your life and your health while you are trusting God to strengthen you. A day will come, you will overcome that realm of that epileptic condition. You can stand strong, but until then, you owe yourself a responsibility to be serious. Your child is wayward. Don't be ashamed and don't be afraid. Believers can come and stand by you. We can pray and cry together and say, Lord, we will not lose this one to the devil. Hallelujah. Yes. Your business falls up. It looks like things are going wrong. No problem. Go and listen to my message, Principles of Restoration. There I teach on five reasons why people lose things. 
There are things you may need to learn. There are corrections you may need to make. There are all kinds of things. But by all means, let that word, I am righteous. The righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am righteous. And because I am righteous, the Bible says, even though the afflictions are many, it leaves me with an assurance that the Lord delivered him from them all. It never said from them. It says from them all. Man of God, you will rise again because you are the righteous. Businessman, you will rise again because you are the righteous. I speak to every family here, north, east, south, and west. You will rise again. Ah, that statement, e cupboard that has been used over your life, the departure of the glory, that men look at your life and it looks like it's a warning and a lesson to others. This God that you call Olowo Bogoro, the one that can turn the life of men around. When God arises from his throne, he says, let God arise, let God arise, let God arise, and all his enemies be scattered. Let God arise, and financial affliction scattered. Let God arise, and every curse and every yoke be scattered. Can I tell you, let men laugh at you while you look to Jesus. Let men laugh at you while you pray. Let men laugh at you while you speak the word. Let men laugh at you while you enjoy the comfort and the blessing of the church. Let men laugh at you while you receive the prophetic. You have received the spiritual combination. Victory is a formula. Something plus something plus something plus something is what equals a manifestation of victory. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy you're my peace my melody in the center of the storm you gave me a brand new song to sing to you that's why i will lift up my voice and sing yeah. Listen, I'm not wasting your time. I want you to listen very carefully to me. There are many of you here, as beautiful as your clothes may look, as wonderful as your faces may look, it's like there is, you are, you are being torn apart by situations. Maybe someone is watching me from a hospital. You have served God with all your life, but here you are by yourself or with a loved one. And literally that loved one is going or maybe there is a family right now that has been bereaved and as I'm speaking right now people are just crying and saying God where were you you've taken the pain and the sorrow away. you've given me peace and undeniable no need to cry cause you're always with me you're my father my everything oh the son of the living God the one who has raised men and the one who has anointed men I speak over your life and I speak over your destiny every affliction I decree and declare that affliction comes to an end now 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 that affliction comes to an end now. I decree and declare. See, look at me. When it has to do with the world of men, the way you pray over men is different from the way you pray over things. Because things were not given dominion, so you can command them. But when it has to do with men, you can't command men per se because God honors their will. 
are we together but there is a name god is called the father of spirits have you heard of that name before the father of spirits means every spirit can be summoned by him the body is a slave to the spirit even those who practice witchcraft know this when they summon people they don't summon their bodies your body can remain in the room there and they can summon your spirit and manipulate it and return it back to the body and you wake up a victim of what has happened in the spirit there is a name god is called the father your boss is a spirit you know that your business is first a spirit ah yes sir james said in chapter 2 and 26 a body without a spirit is dead situations are alive because they have spirits connected to them if you separate that situation from the spirit the situation will die because it becomes a body without a spirit are we together i'm saying this because of the prayer i want to pray for you i may not have the power to command a human being to come to violate their will but i can say like michael said the lord rebuke you so i can call on the god who is the father of spirits and cause him to summon the spirit of your destiny helper and insist that they find no rest till they bless you in the name of jesus christ and insist that they arise by the spirit and partner with prophecy over your life i decree this in the name of jesus christ The father of spirits. Watch him in action when he woke Ahasuerus from sleep. The Bible says that night could not Ahasuerus sleep because the father of spirits needed Mordecai to be blessed. Watch the father of spirits move and he granted a dream to Pharaoh and Pharaoh was troubled by that dream and he could not sleep until Joseph came to Lamlight, until Daniel came to Lamlight. When God moves as the father of spirits, men never rest until men are blessed. Mm. I'm praying it again. I don't know who has been ordained by God to be stationed around your life and your destiny. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I call on my God, who is also your God. May the father of spirits summon every destiny helper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Africa is engulfed with the fire of revival. Europe, America, Australia, Asia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. This is how kings reign. This is how kings rule. This is how kings rise. For by your words you are condemned. And by your words you are justified. Hallelujah. I want to speak over your life. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you will climb up. Coming after me. No one you won't kick down. Lie you won't tear down. Coming after me. One more time. No shadow you will light up. No shadow you won't light up. Mountain you will climb up. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand as a prophetic rainmaker over someone's life. That drought in your life, in the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to 
fall. For someone here, I prophesy to you, you will not see wind. You will not see rain even. But I declare by all means, may your valley be filled. May your valley be filled. Hear me. According to the law of time and chance, for some of you, certain things have gotten to your tongue, but demon spirits made it jump over you. I stand by the prophetic. I take it back to your tongue. I take a pacoskete bekata. I take it back to your tongue. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. If there is any negative programming that came either by mistake or by ignorance you didn't know and you kept speaking things now that the devil is using for some of you based on what you have said you are not even more than two years left to live because you kept cutting your years with your words I stand by the power of the prophetic and in the name of Jesus I cancel every word speaking against you to every word speaking against you for the Bible says no weapon formed against you will prosper and he said every tongue that arises please hear me no matter who has said what against you maybe growing up maybe his parents sincere people but what they have said is being used by the devil it has become a, a negative rain making process by the power of the prophetic I cancel it now where they said you will fall I prophesy stand where they said you will not rise I speak fly not only rise in the name of Jesus where they say you will not find helpers, you will even have to choose who to help you. Where it has been programmed that you will lose your spiritual fire, you will lose your relevance, you will lose your bishopric, you will lose your lampstand. I prophesy 30 years from now, if Christ tarries, you will still be standing. final prophetic word anyone under the sound of my voice that this statement Ichabod has been roaming around your head that means you are good for nothing that means the glory has departed that means everybody who sees you they should treat you like an outcast in the name of Jesus I roll away that negative word I say it again for someone who has been trusting God for rain, your plans have refused to grow prophetically because the rain has refused to come. I stand tonight as a prophetic rainmaker and I say it again by the power of words because by these words the cloud is full of rain. May your rain begin the righteous. Once you find out that you are the righteous, give God praise because I can assure you that sooner or later, Anybody who laughed at you will have to bury his head in shame forever. You're going to pray one prayer that in the name of Jesus, every discouragement, every mountain that stands before me, I announce to you that I am the righteous and therefore I am coming out of it. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Following online, pray. Azaria family, make sure you are praying. In the name of Jesus, someone is speaking as a man of God, a businessman, career person, politician, parent, whatever the situation is. It says, let the weak say, so the weak can say. The weak may not be able to do, 
the weak may not be able to rise but the weak can say and the moment you can say all other things will begin to fall in line someone open your mouth and pray speak over your health speak over the failing business speak over the marital issue speak over the ministry issue speak over the job challenge many are the afflictions of the righteous many are the afflictions of the righteous someone is praying many are the afflictions someone pray in the hospital you are in the hospital but make sure you are praying you've lost a loved one but make sure you are praying you may be crying listening to me but make sure you are praying you may be discouraged offended with god but make sure you are praying many are the afflictions of the righteous nigeria africa i know things may not be as we want for now because of all the economic issues there but many are the afflictions of the righteous i dare to say nigeria is a righteous nation therefore the lord will deliver him from them all pray Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says the righteous man falls seven times, but he leaves them with an assurance that he will rise. That the righteous preacher can be afflicted. The righteous mother can be afflicted. The righteous family can be afflicted. The righteous business can be afflicted. The righteous laborer can be afflicted. The righteous prophet, the righteous apostle, the righteous teacher, the righteous pastor, the righteous evangelist. You find out you're a man of God and it looks like there's some sickness in your body. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Don't join all this hypocrisy and all of that. You pray, get people to pray. You need to go to the hospital, go to the hospital and treat yourself with nobility. It does not make you less anointed. Take responsibility over your life and your health while you are trusting God to strengthen you. A day will come, you will overcome that realm of that epileptic condition. You can stand strong, but until then, you owe yourself a responsibility to be serious. Your child is wayward. Don't be ashamed and don't be afraid. Believers can come and stand by you. We can pray and cry together and say, Lord, we will not lose this one to the devil hallelujah yes your business falls up it looks like things are going wrong no problem go and listen to my message principles of restoration there i teach on five reasons why people lose things there are things you may need to learn there are corrections you may need to make there are all kinds of things but by all means let that word i am righteous the righteousness of god in christ jesus i am righteous and because I am righteous, the Bible says, even though the afflictions are many, it leaves me with an assurance that the Lord delivered him from them all. It never said from them. It says from them all. Man of God, you will rise again. Because you are the righteous. Businessman, you will rise again. Because you are the righteous. I speak to every family here, north, east, south, and west. You will rise again. Ah, that statement, e cupboard, that has been used over your life, the departure of the glory, that men look at your life and it looks like it's a warning and a lesson to others. This God that you call Olawa Bogoro, the one that can turn the life of men around. When God arises from his throne, he says, let God arise, let God arise, let God arise, and all his enemies be scattered.
scattered. Let God arise and financial affliction scattered. Let God arise and every curse and every yoke be scattered. Can I tell you? Let men laugh at you while you look to Jesus. Let men laugh at you while you pray. Let men laugh at you while you speak the word. Let men laugh at you while you enjoy the comfort and the blessing of the church. Let men laugh at you while you receive the prophetic. You have received the spiritual combination. Victory is a formula. Something plus something plus something plus something is what equals the manifestation of victory. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy you're my peace my melody in the center of the storm you gave me a brand new song to sing to you that's why i will lift up my voice and sing yeah. Listen, I'm not wasting your time. I want you to listen very carefully to me. There are many of you here, as beautiful as your clothes may look, as wonderful as your faces may look, it's like there is you are you are being torn apart by situations. Maybe someone is watching me from a hospital. You have served God with all your life, but here you are by yourself or with a loved one. And literally that loved one is going or maybe there is a family right now that has been bereaved and as I'm speaking right now people are just crying and saying God where were you you've taken the pain and the sorrow away. you've given me peace and undeniable no need to cry cause you're always with me you're my father my everything oh The one who has raised men and the one who has anointed men i speak over your life and i speak over your destiny every affliction i decree and declare that affliction comes to an end now 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 that affliction comes to an end now. I decree and declare. See, look at me. When it has to do with the world of men, the way you pray over men is different from the way you pray over things. Because things were not given dominion, so you can command them. But when it has to do with men, you can't command men per se because God honors their will. Are we together? But there is a name God is called, the Father of Spirits. Have you heard of that name before? The Father of Spirits means every spirit can be summoned by Him. The body is a slave to the spirit. Even those who practice witchcraft know this. When they summon people, they don't summon their bodies. Your body can remain in the room there and they can summon your spirit and manipulate it and return it back to the body and you wake up a victim of what has happened in the spirit there is a name god is called the father your boss is a spirit you know that your business is first a spirit ah, yes sir james said in chapter 2 and 26 a body without a spirit is dead situations are alive because they have spirits connected to them if you separate that situation from the spirit the situation will die because it becomes a body without a spirit are we together i'm saying this because of the prayer i want to pray for you i may not have the power 
to command a human being to come to violate their will but i can say like michael said the lord rebuke you so i can call on the god who is the father of spirits and cause him to summon the spirit of your destiny helper and insist that they find no rest till they bless you in the name of jesus christ and insist that they arise by the spirit and partner with prophecy over your life i decree this in the name of jesus christ the father of spirits watch him in action when he woke ahasuerus from sleep the bible says that night could not ahasuerus sleep because the father of spirits needed mordecai to be blessed watch the father of spirits move and he granted a dream to pharaoh and pharaoh was troubled by that dream and he could not sleep until joseph came to limelight until daniel came to limelight when God moves as a father of spirits, men never rest until men are blessed. Hmm. I'm praying it again. I don't know who has been ordained by God to be stationed around your life and your destiny. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I call on my God, who is also your God. May the father of spirits summon every destiny helper. In the name of Jesus Christ. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.